Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your internet connection is a little bit slow and you're looking to increase upload and download speeds. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, I mean just getting right to the basic point here, um, your internet speed is limited by your ISP or internet service provider here. So if you want to get an increase in internet speed, you're probably going to have to go contact them and get a better plan. However, there are settings within Windows that you can modify that should be able to actually give you a slight increase or decrease depending on your setting. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, and let's go ahead and jump into it. So we're going to go ahead and start by opening up the start menu. Type in data usage. Best match should say data usage overview. Go ahead and open that up. Select the data usage button here. And then you should get a list of the different programs and setup files perhaps that are using the most amount of data. So if you notice there are a lot of programs in here that you don't use, but you notice they're connecting to the internet pretty often using up a lot of your memory, you may want to consider uninstalling them or removing them. That should be able to actually lower some of your bandwidth basically. So if there's certain applications or like updates files, so if you let's just say you have an application here you don't use but it's set to start up every time your computer starts up and it's always checking for updates it might be using a lot of bandwidth in the background so you may want to consider uninstalling some of those applications so that's just one thing to consider here something else you can do if you close out of here open up the start menu type in metered connection best match allow downloaded maps over metered connections go ahead and open that up You want to go ahead and scroll down. You want to go ahead and make sure that's turned off here for online maps. And then you also want to go back to the home button up at the top and then select network and internet. You can search for this in the star menu search as well. And we're going back to the same page we were on before, except now we're going to go ahead and select our properties that correspond to our network here. So go ahead and select this properties button. Scroll down underneath meter connection. If you have limited data plan and want more control over data usage, make this connection a metered network. Some apps might work differently to reduce data usage when you're connected to this network. So if you set a data limit, Windows will set the metered connection setting for you to help you stay under your limit. So by having that turned on, it's going to slow down your internet. Go ahead and toggle that to the off position. So that will help reduce any limits that are being imposed by Windows. So again, that's something else to look into. Click the back arrow up at the top, go back to the main page here, and then select the privacy tile now. So go down to where the lock is and select that. Select background apps on the left side, so you're going to have to scroll down a bit. And go ahead and select background apps. Where it says let apps run in the background, you can honestly turn all of them off, just toggle them all to the off position. Or you can pick and choose certain apps, usually you can just turn them all off and you probably won't notice a difference, honestly. But if you use certain applications, you can't have them in the background. But generally speaking, you can probably just turn that off. I think I have it turned off on my personal computers. So I'm just putting that out there. But pretty straightforward process there, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.